you. Oh, thank you, Dee. Um, my name is Peter Vegas. I'm the creative director at FCB. Um, I've been practicing the dark arts of advertising for about 28 years now, give or take. Time off for good behavior and wandering off, getting distracted by other stuff. Um, and yeah, and my job's just kind of to um, do good ideas, really, for clients. So I'm DT and I'm Head of Strategy at FCB, 32 years, so I win in the business. Um, about, I think it was about 10 or 12 of those, I worked on the creative side and then I switched over to strategy, which I've been doing for quite a while now. Uh, we get bullied into it. <laughs> nah, just jokes. Um, I, I like it because I think it's um, it's a chance to the way I see it is if we can pass on a bit of enthusiasm for like you know up and coming um, especially baby suits really and um, get them enthused and maybe uh, you know get them excited about the industry then it might make a, another generation of like awesome people to work with. Yeah, I, I think when, when I actually quite like teaching. I think when you teach, you have to figure out what it is you actually do and think anyway. So. Know, yeah, <laughs> it's actually, we know, it's funny, isn't it? When you, I find that the same when I talk to students at the ad schools and stuff. It actually helps give you a perspective. Yeah, you yeah what is it do it for I yourself. Do? Oh, yeah, no, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, always say yes to a chance to try and teach other people, I reckon. Plus, it makes us sound real smart. Yeah. Especially you. You sound like oh, I go, no, you, you, well, you sound real smart. Your when you diagrams, talk. your diagrams are pretty amazing. <laughs> My <laughs> diagrams are pretty amazing. <laughs> that's true. The module I present is creative. Um, thanks for you guys telling me. Oh, so I knew it was something to do with that. Um, and that's because uh, that's kind of uh, my side of the biz, I guess. But also it's the actual whole point of the industry, I think. Um, and why, I, yeah, I think it's important because I think um, the work is kind of why we are all here. And I think um, I think it gets these days even more, it's everything siloed, like the creative department and then the, you know the suits this this relegation thing where they're not the creatives and like my experience is the best work comes from everyone just working as a team because we're all it's a creative industry and we're all in the same boat and the best people are the people that are excited about the work and want to do it you know so and I was asked to talk about strategic planning which we were just talking before the camera rolled about how it's kind of weird that it's isolated into a group of people in a discipline because all great creatives are really strategic and all great suits are really strategic because strategy just means figuring out what we're trying to do and how we're going to do it. So that's the piece I talk about which is really quite tricky to do in half an hour or an hour but you know, get people a, give people a taste for it. Oh hell yeah! Absolutely. Oh my god. Well, just the pizza alone, I yeah. think, is worth the trip. I don't know. My fan club since I did that one presentation has just gone through the roof. So. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I got heaps of follows on LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's very popular. It is very um, popular. Yeah. No, I I, follow, I think it's. I mean, because I think it's cool that other, the agencies and are um, putting out sending out people to to do it. You know, and hopefully people come away being enthused about the business and going, you know, like, it's good to remind us all about what, what we're doing. I reckon read, just read shitloads. I've, it still works for me to, now if I'm in a bit of a rut. Read, and I don't mean a little quick thing online, I mean read a, a book, like actually find something, even if it's not directly, in fact, better if it's not directly about advertising, but something about how you think and how you influence people and how the, how the world works. He Just reads read lots stuff. of those kind of books and I always feel guilty that I don't, and every now and then I go to D10, oh what book should I read, and I get a book and then I read a few pages and I get distracted. But, I, you know what, a few pages is better than nothing. But mainly I just asked DT to tell me about what happened in the book. So, if you can't be bothered reading, find someone who likes to read and just talk to them. Yeah, that works too. Mm. I, um, you know, it's, I've, I've kind of really enjoyed this job, this industry, because you get paid to sit around with friends and think up um, ideas. You know, ideas for to solve problems. You know, the problems aren't always the most on paper the most exciting. You know, how do we sell more toilet paper or things like that? But it's still, ideally, you're looking for a creative solution for that, and that can be fun. 
um, and sometimes the problems you ask to solve are really interesting. You know, how can we how can we help kids talk about depression or um, and so every now and then you get a little bit where you feel quite worthy and, and then you go back to doing it, it's toilet paper. Um, but actually how to get people to use more toilet paper could be quite interesting. Yeah. Because if oh. you think about it differently, totally. you maybe connect it to a big social issue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I reckon, you know, I always think about the barbecue conversation. We, we talk to a lot of people about clients about what they want to change and often people just want to feel really proud of what they do when someone asks them and I really like our industry it's kind of easy because they go what have you done that I might have seen and so I think and I don't directly do the creative but I love that I can name some campaign that people loved and go yeah I kind of was involved in that. Yeah, my thing I've adopted actually over years of experience with my family is my, my uncle or auntie, oh, so what's a, what new ad have you done? Um, I go, oh, what's one that you've seen, Auntie Dot? Oh, that one with the da 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 Do you like it? Yep, I did it. So, um, <laughs> in my family, I've pretty much done every great ad in New Zealand for the last 25 years. <laughs>、Sure. I've got a general comment about courses and training. I don't think you guys know how lucky you are because when we started advertising, we just hoped by osmosis and being bullied and treated badly and ignored that eventually we'd get good, right? And having our work rejected nine times out of ten. But now you actually have all these free things you can go to. Learning about stuff. stuff. I know. We had no course. Soak it up. Man, when I started advertising, there, not, there wasn't even ad school for creatives.、No. Like、you just got thrown in and you kind of worked it out as you went along, which I'm still doing.、Um, But、uh, not that well some days. But yeah, no, it's awesome to be in a like, thing where you can actually just learn and get a few pointers, and、mm. you know, even if it just helps you out, work out whether you actually want to be in the industry or not. Because I fully get this, some people it doesn't appeal to everyone. And then my, and my thing is, I think when I talk in the courses, like especially on the suiting side, if it doesn't float your boat being involved with good ideas, there's way more other interesting ways you can make lots of money, like being a sales, you know, selling stuff like、mm. real estate. Possibly, yeah, but, but there's a lot、um, of people. Whatever you learn in advertising, connected to advertising, tends to be helpful in other things. So dive into those courses. Yep. Yep. Awesome.